My hair is caught in my elastic again. <laughs> stomp Kitchen, Stomp Kitchen, gluten-free, vegan eats, stomp-tastic treats. Hi everyone, good morning. Good morning. We're gonna make eggs for you. Eggs for Vegan you. eggs, they're so delicious. I found this recipe from Elsa's Wholesome Life and it's absolutely incredible. I like to hear her accent in the background quietly as eggs are being made. They're managing to make this recipe for a few weeks now. So the first thing we do is boil some butternut squash. We happen to have some. Yeah, that's about what it looks like. Yeah, focus it! Oh, I love that. It's so cold. <laughs> now, can I put it in there? Yeah. <laughs> Look at these great measuring cups. Look at them. They're so much fun. A quarter cup of rice flour. Wow, look at that technique. Hashtag skills, baby. <laughs> Pardon me. We're gonna double the whites because sometimes when I make this recipe, like there's more yolk than whites. All the time. Well, yeah, all the time. So we're gonna make twice as much white so we can have it all balanced out and we can have eggs for days. Okay, then we need a quarter cup of coconut milk, but because we're doubling it, half a cup. Thank you. <laughs> Just one tablespoon of water. Water. I love water. it so much. Oh, and a good pinch of salt. <laughs> it's okay to drop things in some kitchen. That's what we're all about. Whisk, whisk, whisk it up, whisk it up, yeah, whisk it up, whisk it up. Like a loose pancake batter. It actually tastes like an unsweetened pancake batter. The egg whites, like, they're not gonna taste super egg whitey. But ask yourself, what do egg whites really taste like? Not much. But the yolk, that's where the magic is. Mm. Oh, speaking of, let's check our squash. <laughs> Ooh, it's soft! Once your butternut squash gets like fork tender, fork tender, baby. Strain the squash and stick them in the blender. What's that? Let's chop the chips. <laughs> they don't go in the recipe, but they're also very good for breakfast. A tablespoon of nutritional yeast. I always put in more than that. More than a tablespoon. <laughs> Two tablespoons of corn flour, which is the same thing as cornstarch. I learned that from watching this video. Ooh, oh, see. <laughs> Two tablespoons of water. <laughs> and then, oh, well. Two tablespoons of olive oil. The olive oil gives it some fattiness. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. <laughs> Pinch of normal salt. Whatever that means. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of Kalanamak, which is the black salt that tastes like eggs. Eggs. We have all the ingredients. We have the yolks stuck in the blender. We've got the egg whites ready to be fried. It's happening. It is happening. Blend it up, blend it up, blend it up, blend it up, blend it up. It smells like eggs. And actually, while we're making the yolk, I'm gonna start to uh, pre, to, um, Heat up the pan to fry these suckers. So I'm just putting like a tablespoon of um, grapeseed oil in the pan. I just love using grapeseed oil. It's so good. <laughs> what was that noise? A reverse burp. Oh yes, look at this consistency. Yum. Yum. Check the pan. It's not ready yet. How'd you check the pan? I threw water on it so it sizzled. Very cool. I'm a wizard. Also, you can buy pre-cut frozen butternut squash at the grocery store. You don't have to like get a butternut squash and cut into it. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay, it's getting there. All right, we're gonna take you with us now. Come. Oh, come with us. How do you hold this? Okay. Welcome to Stem Kitchen. Number one, you take your egg whites, put them on the pan. Let these babies cook just for a few seconds. Oh yeah, magic babies. Take a wee bit of yolk and place it in the middle of the egg like so. Oh my gosh, yum. Then you cover back up and let it cook for like, I don't know, like a minute or so. You don't, they don't need too long. Yeah. cooking with us. But this was just, ow. <laughs> this was really lovely. So nice. Let me know in the comments below if you like this style of video. It's very, like we just decided 
two seconds before we started making breakfast. Let me know if you like this style. We can definitely make more. Not all the meals are gonna be fancy. They're gonna be real life vegan, gluten-free on the go meals. So. This was fancy though. Yeah, this was a bit fancy, but it takes so little time. How long I mean, the take? taste is so fancy. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Definitely subscribe to Stump Kitchen, and you can support Stump Kitchen on Patreon if you want to as well. We'll see you next time on Stump Kitchen. Bye! Bye. One more time, I was itching my ear. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Stump Kitchen. Bye! Bye. Stump Kitchen, Stump Kitchen, gluten-free vegan eats, Stumptastic treats. Did you know that you're sitting in a cupboard right now? Like, there's no tripod here, you're just on the cupboard shelf. DIY! <laughs> See, this is what I want some kitchen to be. Like, f***ing low tech, just like, point and shoot, baby. You can have that back. Yeah, I can. I really can. I might actually be doing the recipe. Yeah. Elsa. Oh, like Frozen. Her name's like Frozen.